The Wolverines christen the 2022 portion of their schedule this weekend and are expecting to have a full roster together for the first time since their game December 11th against Ohio State. We have some guys back from World Junior, some guys back from injury. Uh, so I think there's a, a lot of enthusiasm within our group to, to play this weekend. And I think especially with the World Jays guys coming back, you know, you can kind of see the pace of practice pick up a little bit, um, you know, a little bit more, you know, competition. I mean, obviously we're still working hard when they're not here, but I mean, obviously they're, you know, amazing hockey players and um, they're, uh, they're able to help push us even harder. After a tumultuous December, there's an eagerness at Red Berenson Rink to get back to a predictable routine. It'll be good to just get back to normal and get back to the swing of things and, you know, finally be back, you know, full group and, you know, have that full kind of experience with each other. And, um, you know, I think it'll be good for us. The Wolverines' first games back are a non-conference series, but carry almost as much clout as a Big Ten set, defending national champ UMass here at Yost Arena for games Saturday and Sunday. It's a great test. Uh, they're chasing us in the RPI. They're chasing us in the pairwise. It's a great opportunity for our team to, to move up. It's a great test. It's, it's uh, why we schedule them to, to play the top teams. Early in the year, uh, those couple games at a conference were really good for us and a really good test for our group. And, um, you know, playing an Eastern team, you know, with guys that, you know, I grew up playing with and playing against, uh, it'll be, you know, pretty fun and I'm um, definitely looking forward to it. We love playing the top teams in the country, you know, seeing where we rank up against them. And, um, you know, I think whenever there's a, a big task at hand, you know, the guys always, you know, show up prepared and, and ready to go. So um, it'll, it'll be a really good test for us. But you know, I think at the end of the day, you know, back in Yost, full team, you know, hopefully the pace is, you know, sold out and packed and um, it should, uh, should be a really fun weekend. Part of the fun for fans is the release of the first set of Michigan hockey trading cards. I mean, it's obviously pretty cool. You know, when you're growing up as a kid, you're always collecting, you know, sports cards and, and anything you get your hands on. So, um, you know, to see one that, you know, has your face on it and, you know, little kids are taking home, it's, it's pretty special. I was a big trading card guy. Um, you know, I'd always, you know, with my teammates, you know, when we were super young, uh, I'd always try to, you know, try to get the best guys in the best packs and stuff like that. And, um, you know, I fell in love with that, and that's kind of part of why I fell in love with hockey is just, uh, you know, stuff like that. And it was definitely a part of uh, my youth for sure and uh, pretty cool. For MGO Blue TV, I'm Ed Kundersky.